Hey everybody, this is Bradley again, God's Country Hunting and Fishing. We gotta get our nets ready to go in for 2022's net season. Uh, it's close to the first of the year now. It's the day after Christmas. And we're washing nets, cleaning them up. Gonna patch our holes up, hang them up, let them dry a little bit. And as soon as the water's dried up for a day or two, we're gonna dip them and get them ready to go in. This one was in the lake, unless I tore one in it. I don't think there was any holes in it. Some of these I don't even, I might have fished them last year in the river. Roll it. All right, here's a net knot. Go underneath, always pinch it right there. Fold it over, go underneath the other square, and then cinch it down tight right there. That just cinched down tight. If you want to seal this, you can either burn this off. The wind's blowing today on us pretty good. So sometimes what I'll do is push me another knot right up against that knot like that, and then just cut it. And that ain't coming out. I'll try to burn it. Maybe it'll let me. That'll get dip in it and it won't ever come untied. Right get a close up of this, Daniel. So you can see right here, this one's cut and this one's nicked right here. So it's, it's going to get cut. So what we're going to do is cut all of that out. Cut it right there. Cut it right there. Cut it right there. Okay. Now, we'll start our knot out. You got two knots here that we're gonna tie to, one here, two. So we're just gonna come from here down to here and back up to here. That's a pretty easy patch. So we'll start our knot out right there. We'll go underneath, out, go over the other square, back under the other square, and cinch it down. Always cinch this down real tight on these patch jobs because this already has tar in it and, and this needs to pull down tight in there. Then we'll come down and catch this one. This is a two inch mesh. So we're going to pull it up even, even here. Cinch that down. Good. Come back up here and get our other one. Pull right on that one there. This one. That grab that hole. There you go. This is on the flu, so I wanted to make sure it was done right. And it's on the back flu, so front flus not don't matter as much as, or even the front sections don't matter as much, but that back flu is everything because that's what's keeping your fish from coming back out. All right, yesterday we got our nets all pressure washed, got them cleaned up. If you don't have a pressure washer, you can go to the car wash, lay them out on the ground, pressure wash them. We let them dry overnight. Uh, wind's been blowing good, so they're good and dry, so they should soak up the treatment good. We patched all the holes. We had a rat getting two. We had some that got torn in the lake when we took them up a few weeks back. But we got all that patched and ready to go. And what we got get a close-up of this right here Danielle this is just regular roofing tar it is the non-fibered tar just a plain tar 
We're gonna take this. I got this at the local hardware store. 50 bucks for five gallons. And we're gonna mix it half and half with uh, gasoline or maybe two to one gasoline. We'll put enough gas in it to thin it down. Get it pretty thin and it should coat them nets and get in that. You want it, you want it thin down enough that it's gonna get in the twine good. If you don't get it thin and it's too thick or you just use straight tar, it's just going to coat the outside edge and it won't won't soak in the twine very well. We want it to get in that twine. This is the nasty stuff. So I got a long sleeve shirt, got my gloves, some older pants, hat, nothing you want this stuff to stay on because whatever it hits, it ain't coming off. So we're going we're gonna to mix it up in this bucket here and thin it down. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got another. All right, two tips on this. One, find you one of those little kiddie pools. I had one, but I think the wind blowed it away. So we had to pull out the old vat that we used to use. But a little kid swimming pool worked perfect for this. Uh, a barrel cut in half long ways. You can lay it down and you can roll the nets in it. That works good. And another tip, when you got your dip set up, dip your bigger nets first. That way it's easier to get to the dip, scoop it, and get it all over the net before you get low on your dip. Get low on the dip, the smaller net, it's a whole lot easier to, to dip them than it is the big ones. So we're going to start with our big ones first, get them out of the way, and then go to our small ones. Start that gumbo up right there. Don't put it on a cracker, though. Yeah, we don't want that on a cracker. See it thin down pretty good. You can see it dripping off of there. Smells amazing. All right, like I said, this is a bigger net, so you gotta you gotta do some scooping. No, he's free labor. Free labor? Yep. Yeah, hey, no, I get food. He's free labor. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Well, he gets fish out of it. We got to use this end of the rope anyway. And I got a free end up there to get another net with. It's not a big deal. Now I can stretch the net tight. Net number two. Net number two. Number three.
Yep. We're on number four right now. Yep. Getting knocked out. Yeah, we've been we've been looking at our channel, trying to figure out how to get our subscribers up, get people subscribed, get our views up. And we're looking at what other people's doing in their channels, and all these channels got these girls in bikinis on them fishing and diving and spear fishing and doing different things hunting and all kind of stuff so we figure if if maybe we get chad in a bikini we'll get our views up a little bit chad you're gonna wear a bikini this time absolutely <laughs> a yellow one that's what it takes huh Whatever. bradley what kind of bikini are you gonna wear i ain't wearing no bikini why not he's scared no bikinis, but I might wear some Daisy Dukes. Who knows? There you go. The old bag cage came in use. Flying high right now. Yeah. Happy, happy, happy. From gasoline. Yeah, from gasoline. Gasoline. You gotta have some wind, stay up wind, or have a respirator, one of the two when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. We got a real good wind blowing across us right now, so we're good. Definitely couldn't do this for what no wind blowing like this. That's long enough to throw back over. You can hang on the small one in the end. Number ten. Last one. in here is like brand new now so as soon as they dry get a little wind be set ready to go we'll put them in the water catch them catch some catfish you ready eat them up yep that's a good day's work right there y'all be sure to subscribe to our channel like and share our videos help us out on our subs God's country hunting and fishing, keeping it real.